Hi guys, uh, I'm Karina. Welcome to the first ever Zoomies online meeting just for pets. Uh, sorry about the low wait. We were just getting all of you in here. Uh, I'm Karina Delane. I've worked at Fresh Pet for the last five years and I'm super pumped to kick this off for you guys today and see some wagon tails and furry faces of yours. Um, any of you who don't know what Fresh Pet is, we make pet, uh, uh, pet food that's refrigerated for dogs and cats made fresh with all natural ingredients. Um, it's gently cooked without any preservatives um, to give your pets the uh, healthy and delicious stuff that they need. And since it's fresh food, you can find us in fresh pet refrigerators across the US. So shameless plug there, but had to do it. Uh, hope you've heard of us, but if not, I hope you guys give us a try. Um, but that said, you didn't dial in today to hear from me at all whatsoever, I know. Um, so let's get some housekeeping items done quickly. Uh, I recommend scrolling through all of the video tiles of the conference call and give a little wave to all the animals joining us. I have my cat here, but uh, he's just walking around, so hopefully I can grab him soon. Uh, and I also have my own Fresh Bet team members on the call right now if they want to give a little wave or a shake of the paw. Um, also, uh, we, so we know who's out there today, uh, go ahead and change your Zoom screen name with your first name and your pet's name so we can call you out if need be um, during the call. And you can do this by clicking on the participants tab under the video screen and there's an option to rename the participant name. So just do that quickly if you'd like. Um, and then feel free to post any of the moments during the call using the hashtag FreshBetZoomies. Uh, I know I will after. So uh, why a Zoom meeting for pets? Uh, we've been seeing a lot of people talking about the number of meetings everyone's been having now. So we thought let's put one on the calendar that brings the pet parent community together. And with everything going on right now, we just wanted to find a fun way to connect. Um, so let's get right into it. Uh, we have two very special guests. The first is veterinarian and animal wel welfare expert, Dr. Gerardo Perez Camargo. He is the VP of research and um, development at Fresh Pet. Uh, hey, Gerardo, can you tell us who you're with today and what you do at Fresh Pet? Thank you, Karina. So my name is Gerardo, and what I do here at Fresh Pet is I am in charge of a team of nutritionists, and we do the product development for Fresh Pet. And with me, I have got Pinocchio. Pinocchio, come. Come here. Come. Come. Yeah, green. Come on. So let me introduce you to Pinocchio. Pinocchio is oh, hey, bud. the director of product testing at Fresh Pet. I know that when he is called Pinocchio, nobody wants to believe anything he says, but I can tell you that he's very, very honest when it comes to giving us feedback about what he does like and what he doesn't like. Awesome. Thanks, Roberto. Uh And now I want to welcome a man who knows a thing or two about working in an office, bringing people together online, and most importantly, about the love of animals. Uh, you might know him as Dwight Schrute from the show The Office, or as one of the co-founders of Soul Pancake, but he's also a proud pet parent to several rescue animals. Uh, I have the privilege today of introducing to you comedian, author, actor, and animal lover, Rain Wilson. Hi, everybody. Hello. Nice right. to see you. You can, hear, you can hear me okay? Yes. You're good. Hi. All right, good. I had uh, uh, some difficulty logging on, but I'm here now with <laughs> Poe. This hey, is po. Precious Poe, and uh, Poe's a rescue. And I want to thank people at the North Central Animal Shelter and the Northwest Dog Project who helped rescue him and his foster mom, Jessica. So, um, but uh, thanks, Karina. And this is amazing. If you guys haven't done it already, scroll through uh, to all of the pictures and all the animals, all the live attendees. It's so cute. Everyone with their animals, mostly dogs, but lots of other animals. And it looks like some of us out there are due for a trip to the groomers. <laughs> right? I know I am. Um, it's great to see you all. And, you know, I was asked by Fresh Pet to host a Zoom meeting for animals. I mean, how could I pass up this opportunity? This isn't, it's so much better than talking to people. Am I right? Um, so can everyone hold up their pets right now? Oh my God, there are so Come many of their you. pets. Let's, let's oh see what God. we got here. Let's see who we got. Come on, Thank everybody. You. We've got, you got to change your names. Oh, Penny and Ellen, let me see. <laughs> Noah and Gatsby, Chloe and Odie. Oh, we've got Rich and Jenny and Lily in a Dunder Mifflin t-shirt. Lauren and Rocco, okay. 
My favorite so far is Rocco, but I'm partial to uh, Terriers and Pitbull mixes. Rocco is gorgeous. Congratulations. Uh, Helene and Dusty. Oh my God, there's so many of you guys. This is so great. Stacy and Sydney, Jessica and Willow, Jasper and Goofy, Professor Carl Sagan, Professor. <laughs> one, of the, one of the few cats here today. I love Bandit and Anissa, hello. Scott and Nathan. Does anyone have anything strange like an armadillo or a monkey or a yep. goldfish or something? Oh wait, there's a goat. Goat? Skipper? <gasps> Reagan and Skipper, can you wave? I need oh, to find what a that. God, Reagan and Skipper. I need to meet Reagan and Skipper because uh, they are adorable. And look, Lily, Bobby, and someone else with an L. Oh, oh I know you're uncomfortable. Um, <laughs> oh, wait, there's a turtle. There's Alice and Tia the tortoise. Fantastic, Allison. <laughs> you guys have you, are you seeing this? This is insane. Oh my God. There are this so is... many of you. I've never been in a meeting where I've had to go through pages on Zoom to find people. There's a, there's a bird. There's Sanaya Bruno and all of her birds. Um, I could spend all day just looking at you and your animals. This is like my best day ever. This is amazing. Everyone and their pets. And their Dunder Mifflin t-shirts. Thanks for the shout outs. I love it. Um, this is great. So um, thank you to Fresh Pet for bringing us all together where I know this is really a crazy time these days, you guys. And I hope this meeting gives you all some respite from your regular work day or your school day. And uh, for those of us who are lucky enough to work at home, like, like I am working at home as an unemployed actor, it's good to have our our animals with us and to get us through this. So, you know, I'm gonna let Poe have a little rest down on his doggy bed. Um, good boy. Uh, I Like Dwight Schrute's got a whole farm and much like Dwight, I have a menagerie of animals that you guys need to know about. So I have two rescue pit bulls. I've got Poe and Diamond. I've got two rescue guinea pigs behind me in the cage, Lemon and Shogun. We've got two rescue pot-bellied pigs in the backyard, uh, Amy and Snortington, or Mr. Snortington. And um, we've also got a, a zonkey, a, do a rescue donkey, and three horses um, wow. that my wife has. So uh, it's, uh, I, I love them all. And um, I'm not gonna say I love them more than my wife, because that could get me in trouble, but kind of. <laughs> so I'm kidding. So here's what we're going to keep this interactive, folks. So um, I'm going to throw a poll up on the screen and uh, we're all going to answer. OK, so put your pets aside for the time being. We've got a poll up. Would you rather be in a serious relationship with someone who doesn't like pets or not date anyone for the next three years? What do we have? Oh, wow. Someone, okay, wow, this is, oh, I love this is in real time. Look at that. That's just hundreds and hundreds of people all answering the, you guys are very good at the polls. Okay, what do we got here? Boom, 5% not date anyone for the, for the next three years. The 5% out, 5% get out. I love <laughs> it, not date anyone for the next three years if they don't like pets. That's fantastic. Oh, that's great. Um, I'm actually surprised by the 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 five percent. You're that's a that seems even high. For a while, it was like one or two percent. <laughs> um, that 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 seems high for this for this bunch of animal lovers. <laughs> but um, uh, we definitely have some pet lovers out there. Okay, you know what? Let's do another poll. This is really fun. Okay, let's go. Um, Sharing poll results. Did I, did we do that? Share poll results. Okay. Yeah. Now I'm going to stop sharing the poll results. Next poll. I'm going to close that so someone else can do it. Poll two. What crazy things will you admit your pets are seeing or experiencing more of these days in this great 
sequestration that we are undergoing, the quarantine. My pet watches me use the bathroom. My pet listens to me sing songs about them. I'm going with that one. My pet sits through photo shoots of themselves. My pet dances with me, or I'd rather not say. I'm not sure I'd rather not say means. All right, we've got, looks like 300, 400, 500, 600. Come on, guys. Get, get to it, get to it. Boom. All right, my pet watches me use the bathroom, seems to be the winner, and they sit through photo shoots of themselves. As I said, I'd rather not say. Um, okay, that's great. So um, amazing. Yes, our pets are interacting with us in lots of new ways. Um, I, I think these pets, I think all 800 pets that have shown up on this, uh, on this Zoom call are very happy spending a lot more time with their owners and uh, kind of digging the quarantine. So I think uh, the quarantine is very popular with our animals. Um, now, speaking of polls and questions, when you guys registered for Zoomies, you shared some questions for me. So here's a bunch of questions. Diana and her cat Peanut asked, what kind of pet parent would Dwight Schrute be? Would Dwight have owned a bear as a pet? <laughs> you know, I don't think Dwight would be a very good pet parent. I think he would view any, uh, a sign of weakness for someone to bond with an animal. So I think he'd view all pets as essentially meat and only, you know, how could they be used? I'm sorry to say it. I know I don't want to trigger anybody. I don't want to upset anybody, but you're asking about a fictional character who runs a farm. Would he have owned a bear? He would only have owned a bear if he could have profited from it. Yeah, that's um, fair. Right? Uh, charged, charged admission to pet the bear or something like that. Um, <laughs> true story, we did a photo shoot with a bear um, for the office and that same bear the next month attacked and killed its owner and had to be put down. Stop it. Oh no. Yeah, it's true. Oh, no, it's true. It's they so are dangerous funny. wild creatures and they should not be like Lion King. They should not be in cages. Advisable. Gotta be free. Not a pet. Yeah, don't get a bear as a pet. So Anna and her rabbit, Benny, asked, do your pigs live indoors and are they potty trained? Um, before we got our rescue pit bulls, the pigs would come in and sleep. We had a different set of rescue pit bulls that had passed away. They were older before we got this new slew of them. They would come in and sleep on um, in little beds in the living room. And it was very cute. And pigs are very clean and very like, they'll only like pee and poop in very specific places. Like they have their, <laughs> like Dwight, they have their pee corner. <laughs> <laughs> so they would never go to the bathroom in the house. Um, Carmen and her pet Pip asked, um, is spending so much time with my pet now going to make me miss her more when I go back to work? I think all the businesses are going to need to install bring your pet to work day policies. Yep. I think that's the only solution, right? I agree. Um, and uh, Will and his dog Scout asked, why did you hate sprinkles? Mm. So that wasn't me. So that was a fictional character that I played. But I think, again, Dwight doesn't have that kind of basic empathy gene. So <laughs> um, it's just a, a means to an end. Becky and her dog, Sir Tibbles Waddlesworth, asked, what are your pit bulls guilty pleasure? Um, they have so many guilty pleasures. Sleeping in our bed. So we have a we have a very full bed at night. We have <laughs> uh, me bed. and me and my wife and two pit bulls uh, every night. Um, <laughs> and here's the thing: I can't stand what I can't stand is like dog paws poking at me. So I kind of have them all on her side. So it's like me on one side of the bed and then half the bed with my wife and two dogs. So <laughs> anyway, so thank you all for sending in your questions. Um, I mentioned before some of the rescue organizations and shelter organizations that hold a special place in my heart. And my wife and I love rescuing animals. And we're one of those foster fail 
families because our dog Diamond, who's too too crazy to be in the room with me right now, um, we were supposed to just foster Diamond and find Diamond a home. <laughs> well, my wife was, to be honest, but um, we ended up keeping crazy Diamond. We just fell in love with her too much. So let's do a third poll, guys. Have you rescued a pet or given back to a local rescue? Select all that apply. I have rescued a pet. I have volunteered. I have donated. Or I will adopt or rescue soon. God, there are so many of you in here. Oh my God, yeah, that's a lot. <laughs> that's fantastic. Heck yeah. Nice. I have rescued pets, 78%. That's almost 80% of you have rescued literal pets and volunteered and donated. That's fantastic. That's great. We've got some rescuers out there. And um, like uh, a lot of the animals in the rescue shelters, my dog, uh, so you know, um, had a rough start to their lives and we were able to give them a fresh lease on life. And that's one of the reasons I was so interested in joining today's call and doing this work with Fresh Pet because um, I love the work that they're doing to help rescue and shelter organizations. And so the, um, sorry, make this poll go away. <laughs> Enough with the poll. Um, so they started this, uh, Fresh Pet started the Fresh Start program to focus on animals that have a harder time getting adopted. It gives money away to verified no-kill nonprofit animal rescue operations around the country. And uh, because I am of what's going on in the world today, normally they would launch it in September. That's when they usually launch it. But the program is kicking off today. So the Fresh Start program sponsored by Fresh Pet is starting today. What does it mean? It means that your favorite shelter or rescue organization can win up to $10,000 to support its work and give the animals it serves a fair chance. These animals need our support. So if you are with a qualifying nonprofit shelter or rescue, or if you love supporting them, you have to go online and nominate that organization by May 10th. How far away is that? That's 10, 11 days from now. So the organizations with the most votes from each of the five regions of the United States will receive $10,000. And on top of that, Fresh Pet will recognize two runner-up organizations in each of those markets with $2,000 each. So they're giving away a lot of money um, and I'm going to nominate these two shelter organizations, North Central Animal Shelter in LA and the Northwest Dog Project, which uh, does great work with, with pit bulls. So we'll get that up and going. And the winners will be announced on National Dog Rescue Day on May 20th. So it's a short amount of time. You've got to nominate by May 10th, get a lot of voting done between May 10th and May 20th. So go to freshpet.com slash fresh start to nominate. I have total faith in your ability to participate and share this good news. You, can I get a show of paws? Who's gonna share this good news? <laughs> fresh start, nominate organizations. So yes. Yes. yes, let's help <laughs> these organizations and all of the wonder dogs and cats they serve. Come on, you guys, listen, listen to me. It's the least you can do. <laughs> Also, I see a lizard in here. You guys are awesome. There's a lizard? There's a lizard. I'm going to call them out. It's, it's Karen and Leonidas. 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 And Karen, <laughs> look at that. That's fantastic. Oh, that's great. That's great. I wonder if there's like a camel. <laughs> that's the weirdest pet. We should have a prize for the strangest pet. <laughs> I don't know. I just want to give away prizes. I want to give all the way the fresh pet money. To the... Oh, Anyways. and Lauren and Cactus have a hedgehog. Hey, guys. <laughs> Wait, there's a hedgehog? Yeah. That's awesome. Oh, my God. I wish God. it was easier to scroll through all of these, but it's like a I know. There's so many everything. people. I can't see the hedgehog. That's fantastic. Oh my God. I want to see the little girl with her goats again. <laughs> 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 That was the cutest thing I've ever seen. <laughs> it's so funny. And now, now you've got me scrolling again through everybody. Oh, so it's many kind sweet of dogs out there. So many sweet critters. Oh my God. 
MJ and Barkley, Jake and Lux. Hi, Jake and Lux. <laughs> Gorgeous. Scarlett and Audrey. Hi, guys. Love all the Dunder Mifflin t-shirts. So this is a great way to help out your favorite local organization, you guys. Now, we're going to talk about our silliest pet parent experiences. So we ask people to submit their craziest, funniest, most embarrassing pet parent experiences. And we've got some great ones here. Um, from Gurley, my dog Bubba peed on my face while I was sleeping. <laughs> <laughs> so many inappropriate jokes I could make right now that I'm not going to make. Um, from Marie, our family dog Dido did his business while the Roomba was on. Oh no! Winding, spiraling circles of brown hair. <laughs> <laughs> oh my yeah. God. That's actually uh, the best story I've ever heard. It's pretty good. From Janice, my pet humped his doll while on a WFH <laughs> Zoom call. Um, work from home. Um, from Brittany, my dog Ivy carried my panties to the park. <laughs> I've never seen her with them. <laughs> okay. Uh, Elizabeth, I had a male greyhound who liked to steal my sweaty sports bras and hide them in his bed. Weirdo. <laughs> um, um, not going to share this person's name. My pet may or may not have sat on top of my husband while we were becoming intimate. <laughs> uh, from Tatum, I tried to put my guinea pigs on a leash. It didn't go very well. Yeah, we have guinea pigs. I don't think they'd respond well for that. Um, and my Ra Rachel said, my son pooped his pants during a Santa lap picture while our dog burrowed into Santa's beard and wouldn't let go. Oh, that poor Santa. Oh. I'm so happy we asked these questions. This is my favorite. This is great. Um, when Lola gets excited about seeing people, she rolls on her back and makes excited peepees all over the floor. Yes. Nice. And um, um, from Mia, Shadow once ate a lemon out of the trash and had explosive diarrhea all over the shower. He then shrieked at the smell. How did she get Shadow to poop in the shower? Because that's a, that's a great place to poop. That cleans up easy. <laughs> Better than the couch. So I will say that Poe, right there, who you met, Poe, guys, are you listening? Um, we got groceries delivered and they brought him to the front gate and we forgot about him for 15 minutes, let Poe out. He ran over, we bought all these vegetarian, vegan sausages that are big, like Beyond Meat sausages. He ate 24, 24, and he swallowed them like, <laughs> and, and then he couldn't move and his stomach was the size of a barrel. We had to take him to the vet and have them make him Vomit. I feel like 24 is so much food. They're already big to begin with. Yeah, they're, they're huge. They're the size of the stapler. <laughs> so imagine like uh, swallowing 24 of those things. It's crazy. So another poll, folks. <laughs> How are your pets handling you being at home more? Let's, We've, let's see. Poll number four. There we go. Here. They've got the zoomies. They're running in circles. They're doing great at nap time. Yeah, We've been great. going outside every chance we get. I know a lot of people are taking some really nice dog walks. The dogs are so happy. And we're getting creative indoors. Lots of fun games. My son loves to play games with Poe running around the house. So. There we have it. Thank you for all who participated. They're doing great at nap time. Excellent. A lot are having the zoomies, a lot of dog walks. That's fantastic. Thank you guys. All right. Um, lovely. <laughs> it keeps popping up on my screen. Go away, Paul. Um, that's amazing. And we're definitely a lot of people are getting more creative. I wish I could kind of interview people and hear how they're getting creative at home during this quarantine, but I can see a lot of you um, already getting creative. Okay, I'm gonna go back to scrolling through all these people. I'm gonna go to the end. Click, 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 click. <laughs> there's so many of you. 
Well, Rain, what have you guys been doing? You say you work from home typically, so has anything changed on your end? Um, you, the only thing that has changed is that the, the, the dogs, are, our dogs at least, are psyched. I mean, you can just tell. They're like, oh my God, you guys are around so much. This is awesome. <laughs> so if we go back to work, uh, I don't know what's going to happen. Oh, look at all of these wonderful animals. Sorry, I get so distract distracted looking at you all. Hold up your animals, everybody. Oh my God. Wait, that's a weird thing. Oh, it's a snake. <laughs> Jamie oh and, Snella, and Stella. <laughs> Jamie and Stella, it's a snake. I was like, what is that thing that's eating her hand? Do you guys see Jamie and Stella? <laughs> I haven't gotten to that page yet. I yeah, see. It's near, it's near the back. <laughs> so, wait, was there someone, I think they had ducklings. Yes. Are those ducklings? <laughs> Buster the duck and his, and some ducklings? Oh my God, Sarah and Buster the duck and the ducklings. Oh my God. Look at that. That's the cutest thing I've ever seen. <laughs> There's ducks on here. Someone <laughs> should introduce the ducklings and to the snake and let's see what happens. <laughs> <laughs> um, that's great. So if you guys know, um, if you guys follow me on Instagram, you'll know that one way that I've been getting creative uh, was with uh, dancing with my Pitbull Poe that you met earlier. It's a little how my actual prom date felt. This is us. <laughs> <laughs> it looks really comfortable. <laughs> he is the sweetest. Look at him. And he was trying to lick my face the whole thing. <laughs> He's doing it with a smile on his face. Wow. Uh, he is, um, he's so <laughs> docile. He's as long as he has a human hugging him, you could you could literally have them do anything. So is there anyone um, out there who wants to raise their hands and show how they're adjusting with their animals and keeping busy? Can you guys um, raise your hand? And um, Mitchell, you're gonna pick someone? Yeah, I'll choose someone. Do you guys know so how to raise your hands? Go to the reactions down at the bottom of the screen. You can raise your, okay. raise your hand. Up. Got some hands I'm looking at. Or Sorry, pause up, anyone. clap your hands. Or did you I'm mean gonna... for them to literally like raise their hand in the video screen? I I got someone. Don't worry about it. Okay. So let's Great. see if this works. Did that make a thumbs up on your screen? Oh, I see. That's cool. You learn new things every day. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> One second, guys. Hey, Lily and Maggie. Where's Maggie? Where's Maggie? Oh, there's Maggie. And oh, Matt here we go. Rat. There's Sorry, a guys, Matt and the rat and no one's even on there. Where'd you guys go? <laughs> hey, Courtney, you're Hi. on with Rain. Hi. Hey, Rain, how are you? Oh, hi. Hi, Courtney, how's it going? It's going good. I've who, got who my buddy. There? This is Mutt. He's a rescue from Austin Pets Alive here in Austin, Texas. Yeah. Um, but funny enough, actually, when we adopted him, his given name was Dwight Schrute. Um, oh, no way. <laughs> and looking back, actually, probably would have been a fitting name to keep because he is loud, uh, socially <laughs> awkward, and definitely likes to force his way into the middle of everything. <laughs> <laughs> Why did you change his name from Dwight Schrute to Mutt? <laughs> White shrewd just felt like a lot to have to say, like when you're calling him out on like the, the dog playground, it was a mouthful. <laughs> I will never forgive you for changing his name from that most beautiful of all names to Mutt. Well, Dwight Shrewd is definitely his spirit animal. <laughs> so how are you, um, how are you spending time with Mutt? Well, I um, worked uh, remotely before everything, but definitely home a lot more than usual. And so he is now 
pretty much trying to sleep under my desk as much as possible. And we mm -hmm. take long walks with my daughter. She is, um, he's become her constant companion. She's an only child. So he's, he's definitely become the, the big brother now and pesters her and, and keeps her company so that mom and dad can try and get some work done. <laughs> That's great. That's great. Well, um, thank you so much for introducing Mutt to us, formerly known as Dwight K. Schrute. Um, it's not too late to change his name back. We'll seriously consider it. <laughs> all right, all right. Well, thank you so much for sharing. Hey, um, thank you. Can, we, can I can I talk to the veterinarian, to Dr. Perez Camargo? Yes. Sure. Awesome. Um. Uh. Doctor, are, you know the zoomies? People talk about the zoomies and the pets just racing around. Is there anything that we can do to alleviate it? And can you explain it to us, that, that syndrome? Well, the, the Sumis is, um, is the sign of a happy and healthy pet that basically just has too much energy. So there is nothing to worry about. There are some obvious things you can do, like you can take your pet for a walk. You can mm -hmm. earn some energy by having a game of fetch with your pet. Mm -hmm. There are also other things you can do, like now that we have more time with our pets, maybe you can mm -hmm. have five or 10 minutes in the morning and, and 10 minutes in the afternoon, just to do some training. So you don't only stimulate them physically, but also mentally. Now, sometimes when the pets get a bit too excited and you want to calm them down, I can give you a tip to do that to see if it works. One good thing you can do is you can get a brush and you can give your pet a long brush from nose to tail all the way. And that seems to relax them, to calm them down. It was to calm people down as well, to, to brush a pet. And there is an extra added bonus with that, and is that you will have much less hair all around your house after doing a good brushing. I would like you to brush me from head to tail. <laughs> that sounds really relaxing. <laughs> would you do that? <laughs> yep. Sorry, I was going to add that uh, if people have pets that are like having the zoomies during calls, give them like treats or a chew toy or something during that call. It'll probably be really great. Okay. All right. Good. Good. Good tip. Good. Excellent. Excellent. Good. Good. Okay. I'm just sorry. I'm now I am so we have to do this again. This is crazy. <laughs> I want to do this again with like tens of thousands of people. I don't know how many people Zoom can take on, but these pets are incredible. Oh my God. Yeah, there really That's... are so many of you on this call too. Thanks for joining. Oh, thank yeah. you for taking time out of your day, your busy day. So thanks so much, you guys. Um, uh, you know, they've done studies about how important our relationship with our pets are during these times of great anxiety, how dog owners live longer, um, uh, have less anxiety and, and deal with stress better. And so we get so much from them and it's so important that we give so much back to them. And um, you know, it's just beautiful how we, we both create warm, loving homes for each other. You know, we do it for the pets and the pets do it for us. So thank you for um, you, all the heartfelt short stories that you guys shared about how your pets have helped you during this time. And here's some of these um, stories that were sent in. Um, really beautiful. My sweet gal, Sadie girl, calms us. She's happy every day, just wants to be with us. Beautiful. Both my pooches are really the light of my life. They bring so much joy into my world. I have no idea what I'd do without them. And my son is an only child. We adopted Blue in December. We're thankful how he keeps our son company. I know for me, I was an only child and the, the animals that I had growing up, we had dogs and cats and gerbils. Um, they, they were my brothers and sisters. So um, I love that. Our dog Griffin just lives his life and does what he loves and he helps us focus on what's important. Um, so that is so great. Thank you for sending in your stories. Uh, thank you for sending in your all the funny stories and questions and everything that um, let's see um, let's answer some more of the questions that people shared let's see what's on people's minds yeah Mitch. let's do it so 
We're, we're running out of all the time, but so we'll be quick. So first question is for you, Rain. Uh, it comes from Johnson and his Dalmatian, Duncan. What is your favorite pet memory? I think my favorite pet memories I had, um, there was a department store in Seattle called Frederick and Nelson's and I had a pet gerbils for many years, Frederick and Nelson. And um, I used to make them mazes and I would save all the toilet paper tubes and paper towel tubes and then tape them together with like duct tape and make them mazes and they're little, they would scurry through them and then they would chew on them and shred them. Um, <laughs> And I just loved spending hours and hours and hours making them uh, little uh, obstacle courses. It was best. It was it was the best. Awesome. Well, we have one time. We have time for one more question. This one is for Dr. Gerardo, and it comes from Melanie and her dogs Maggie and Paisley. Um, how can I help my pet adjust when it's time to go back to the office every day? Well, I think that that is a going to be a very tough day for all our pets. They are not going to be happy about it. Um, particularly if they are prone to some kind of separation anxiety, there are different things you can do. One of them is, for example, if you sleep in a t-shirt, you can leave that t-shirt on your pet's bed. And by them having your body smell next to them, you might be able to comfort them. You can also do other things around the house, like having a bit of environmental enrichment like for example, you can make sure that your pet has got good access to a window and maybe outside the window, what you can do is you can put a, a bird feeder or something like that that will attract birds or squirrels or things like that. You can also do other things like maybe leave the radio on or a TV on with a wildlife program. Some, some pets like to watch that. And something I would also advise is rather than give your pet all its food in one bowl at the same time. Maybe you can make little bowls in a small amounts and put them different places around the house so your pet has to go hunting from room to room. And that way, rather than having every food, all the food in one go, they can actually have a bit of exercise as well as a stimulation while they are doing some, some hunting for the food. I hope that helps. That does. Thank you, Dr. Gerardo. Back to you, Rain. Uh -huh. I had to bring Poe back so everyone could see him again in case you missed him. Um, so before we finish up, we got to wrap this up quickly. Let's give out some free stuff. So while, while all this has been going on, we've been checking out everyone's videos for people with cool backgrounds, handsomely dressed animals, and those with the wildest, most eccentric pets. We have some giveaways, uh, Mitchell. Yeah, so we'll be giving it out to the, the lucky recipients are Jessica and her pet Pickles. Lynn and Lucy, Lauren and Cactus, Joni and Rascal and Elsa, and then Colin, Wheezy, Luna, and Chewy. We will be emailing you guys after this. So we'll be in touch. Yay, wonderful. All right, so let's recap what we've learned today. We've learned that you guys are really good at taking polls. Thank you very much for that. Uh, we saw that a lot of you are starting to look like your animals. Am I looking like Poe a little bit? What do you think? <laughs> a little bit? More stoic, please. <laughs> <laughs> um, and we agree that our animals are helping get us through these really difficult, sometimes interesting days at home. And we also know there's a lot of animal rescue organizations out there that would, that are need support and have a lot of animals that need and would love a home. And so we want to remind you that the Fresh Pet Fresh Start program officially opens today. And you need to make sure your favorite rescue organization is nominated. And um, can you tell us again how to, how to do that? Just go to freshpet.com slash fresh start and you can just nominate whichever organization you want. Freshpet.com slash fresh start, nominate the organization. That's great. And make sure everyone you know votes for the organization. So spread the word. And um, are there hashtags and stuff like that that people can use? Uh, fresh pet, fresh start. It's okay, a mouthful, great. but use it. <laughs> okay. Um, that's great. So uh, make sure uh, you guys sign up the organizations and make sure you get people to vote. And they're going to be giving away a lot of money in the month of May uh, for these delightful animals that need homes. So thanks, Fresh Pet.
Thanks so much, Rain. Uh, thanks for everyone for logging into Zoomies. I hope you had a good time voting and chit chatting with us. Uh, this was a lot of fun. Um, make sure to check out Fresh Pet Fresh Start. Uh, Freshpet.com slash fresh start if you want to nominate an organization and if you want to post anything about the event you could use the hashtag fresh pet zoomies um, so yeah thanks a bunch uh, is there anything else we should chat about before we go I think we should do uh, another poll like what's what's better cats or dogs <laughs> oh god <laughs> okay no no we're not gonna go we're not gonna go down that road no that's all I've got for today on behalf of me and Poe and the great rescue organizations that brought Poe into my life and brought all your animals into your life. Thank you, Fresh Pet, and thanks, Fresh Start. Thanks for tuning in, you guys. This was a lot of fun. <laughs>